Well, I guess. Can we please? <gasps> Why would you do that? Flat stomach doesn't make you like, oh, I've reached my goal. It did turn into something I looked forward to. Hey guys, it's Cora. Welcome back to my channel. No, Almost. Can, I, can you start over? Abby, what am I supposed to do with my You just face? sit there. Hey guys, it's Cora. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've gotten so many various questions on my Chloe Ting video, which, by the way, has almost half a million views. That's so many. That's really crazy. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I've gotten so many questions, and I try to answer all my comments, so I've been, like, responding to most of my comments, but I just figured it'd be easier if I just made a video answering the most common questions that I've been getting. I also asked on my Instagram if there were any questions people had that they want me to answer in this video, so I will also be answering those questions about her workouts, how I work out in general, motivation, eating, and stuff like that. I have my sister with me here today. Here. Yes. She just just finished the two-week shred and so I figured she would have some things to say too. Without further ado, let's get into the question. What did you eat throughout this challenge? Did you go on a diet? Did you change your eating habits? I got this question probably about 500 times in the comments of my video. I'm not kidding. I did not go on a diet. I did not change my eating habits. I think the whole time of like me doing the challenge, I didn't really want to change anything about my lifestyle while I was doing it because I figured then that would impact the challenge and then it wouldn't, the results wouldn't be just from the videos, you know? And so I didn't change my eating habits at all. I don't have a diet. Um, we eat particularly healthy. We don't have like a bunch of junk food in our house. Um, we don't have any really no. in our house. You know when you go to your friend's house and they have like all the snacks in like their pantry or whatever and it's just so exciting to go to their house yeah well if friends ever came to our house we're like they're so a disappointed bag of pretzels we have dessert like we we usually eat dessert every night we'll have something whether that's like ice cream sundaes not big but just like you know well ice cream sundaes um we make cookies a lot so like we might each have a cookie or candy or chocolate or something like that like most nights we'll have dessert we'll have something but it's not a lot it's kind of become routine to me to have like small bowl of gold fish or something and at like midnight like when I'm just like sitting in midnight bed watching TV really are the best and I know you're like not really like supposed to like it's best for your body to like not eat after a certain time at night but I did throughout the challenge and still saw results and I still felt good so I wouldn't worry too much about what you're eating while you're doing this challenge I think that like it just like doesn't really matter you know like you're staying active so it's okay to reward your body with food you don't need to like go on a diet or fast or anything like that I don't know make sure to drink a lot of water though when you're doing it just because otherwise you'll get a headache and you won't be as energetic when you're doing it and you'll feel more like blech. So many people just wanted to know what we were eating so I decided to just like film for like one and a half days I filmed some typical food that we eat in my family so I will put that footage here. Okay, so tonight for dinner, we are having taco soup. Next, I've got the salad. My mom made the salad. The salad is just like romaine lettuce and then avocado, and then I just make my own balsamic vinegar on top, which is just some olive oil and then balsamic vinaigrette. I realized that I completely forgot to show my dessert tonight, but last night I made some like edible cookie dough and then just put it into like balls and put them in the fridge. And so me and my family each ate one of those. Actually, we had one and a half. So I had one and a half of a cookie dough bite. So I'm going to eat just this piece of banana bread that my grandma made. I'm not eating a lot because I'm going at one to have like a picnic with my friends and that will be my lunch. So that's why I'm just eating this. If we don't have banana bread, a typical breakfast for me is usually a bagel that is like half with butter, half with cream cheese. And then I'll cut up some fruit and have that on the side. It's usually like strawberries and blueberries. I'm about to head to Chipotle to pick up my food and then go to the picnic with my friend. It has white rice, corn, guacamole, chicken, lettuce, and cheese. Holy. Mm. Wow, you are talented. Not a question, but congrats on all your growth on YouTube. Thank you, I know. Thank you very much. Thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to you. They ask you how you are. How the heck did you get through? I gave up after two days. So much respect to you. I she gave up. <laughs> You really did! Bad. You okay. did it two days and then you were like, Cora, I can't, I'm no, done. shut up, shut up, okay. <laughs> I started the two week shred about like two weeks before I was done with school. Cause I was like, oh, it'll just be like something 
fun to do. Like I haven't been super active. I've been super busy with school. My advice would be to wait until you can actually dedicate yourself to it. Like you shouldn't, it shouldn't be something you're forcing yourself to do with absolutely no like motivation to do. So if you're in college and you haven't gotten out yet, maybe wait till you're out. Until but if you're, you're in, in high summer. school, online school, and it's like mine where it's like the easiest thing in the world, it's fine to yeah. just do it. Yeah. The next couple of questions are about how did you motivate yourself? For me, I just like really actually found like pleasure in doing her workouts. Like I found it like kind of fun. I really like Chloe's like attitude about the videos and like just like her doing everything with you is yeah, like helpful. She's very positive. And she like makes it clear that like if you're tired, like just do the low impact. And so, you know, if you're feeling really tired, it's totally fine to just do like a no jumping version or just like a standing version. And so honestly, I just made it a pack to myself. I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm not, I'm gonna follow the schedule exactly. It just pays off in the end. I think watching like results videos too, people That's say it's really motivating. motivating. Yeah. So was it hard for you? I consider myself athletic, but I found it very difficult to get through. Yes. It's really hard yeah. for anyone. Like you're working muscles you probably never worked before because her all her exercises are like really unique like a lot of them are ones I've never heard of before so it was really hard for me but it gets easier and I think it's hard for everyone like even if an Olympic gymnast did it they might have trouble on some of the things like they're hard yeah where did you hear about Chloe Ting TikTok Cora <laughs> <laughs> probably saw it on YouTube too and I was just intrigued because my gym closed and my lacrosse season got canceled and I was like okay I need something to do at home because I can't go anywhere and I saw it all over the internet and she she kind of blew up I think by this time like everyone has heard of Chloe Ting. Yeah. Do you think there's any negatives to Chloe Ting's workout program? I don't really think so. I think that everything to me was kind of perfect. Like I think she really knows what she's doing and I trust her. Maybe that's one negative to her videos. I don't, I don't really like when people, you know, will call their videos like do this to lose weight, you know, because it might not work for everyone. So they're a little bit, I don't want to say clickbait, but it's its a little bit like, you know, she knows what's going to get her views, right? Like she knows that if she just has like workout as the title, you know, it's not probably going to get as many views as like do this and you'll have a flat stomach. But like that also that makes people feel bad when it, when they don't end up with a flat stomach. Because I also think that like with all the results videos and like transformation and whatever and like her reacting to that, I think that's only one part of it because not everyone is going to see like results. That doesn't mean you're not gaining muscle. It's not, it doesn't mean you're not like getting more fit and toned even if you can't see it. Like I personally, I didn't lose any weight. I didn't, I like, didn't really see either. a physical difference in my body, but I felt stronger. And so I think that that's, something that people don't always take into account that like it doesn't matter like how you look on the outside it's how you feel and so you don't really get that with like all the results videos in my whole life i've struggled with like just feeling nauseous like all the time stomach aches constantly and i didn't really have any stomach issues um while doing this workout so it's really like the best part was just keeping myself like healthy and keeping myself like active like it, it pays off and you just don't feel as like gross all the time what are the videos you did along with the chloe ting workout trip i would say about half the comments were about diet and half were about this so many what people were confused about do i just do one video for all the days do i just do the shred bit like so many people were confused i will link her exact program down below and in that program you have a schedule that tells you which videos to do each day and you can add that youtube playlist of videos so that it's on your account and you can go and find the right videos um so no it is not just one video there's multiple videos that you do and it's like a different combination of the videos each day <laughs> Not having to do with that vid, but why did you get sent to the principal's office or whatever? <laughs> Suspended. Um, I got suspended from school last year or this this year. I guess I'm not out of school yet So my junior year right now, I, I got suspended from school for a day I don't want to get in trouble with my school. So once I graduate, I'll do a story time. I promise <laughs> But um, so many people I posted on my Instagram I'll do a story time when I graduate and people were like, oh, can you just tell can you just do it now? And I was like, I really don't want to get in trouble with my school. It's, it's not like, bad, but it has to do YouTube related. has to do with you guys <laughs> So thanks a lot. No, I'm just kidding, but I'll definitely do a story time on that. Was it hard to get motivated? Love you so much. You're my favorite YouTuber. Aw, that's really sweet. Thank you. Um, we kind of talked about this, but 
I didn't find it too hard to get motivated. I think just make a plan for yourself and you say, I'm gonna do it every day at five o'clock or four o'clock or 4.30, whatever. It, it'll work out yeah. and you'll be fine. I think for me, the most motivating thing was just like having a routine some somewhere in my day because now that school is over for me and I have literally nothing else going on, it actually did, as much as it was hard for me, it did turn into something I looked forward to because it was just like something to schedule my day around. What was your biggest takeaway from the challenge? I would say my biggest takeaway was that you don't need to lose weight to feel good. Like I really thought, I was like, well I'm gonna lose a bunch of weight and then I'm gonna look so good and I'll be able to make this like crazy results video and it's gonna get so many views. And I didn't have crazy results. I mean, some people would say I did, but I, I definitely didn't. And I still got a lot of views <laughs> on the video. And I have never felt so like good about my body than I do right now. And I don't have a flat stomach. Like I'm still pretty much the same size and clothes. Like not much changed, but um, I just feel so much better about myself. To be quite honest, for the people who are actually going to see abs, they're probably gonna be already really skinny people who are doing this challenge and then they might see abs, right? I feel my abs getting stronger, but I can't see them because I have a lot of stomach fat. But like that's okay because I'm still like strong. You don't have to see them. Like a lot of people- They're still there. A lot Everyone of- Everyone has abs. Uh, so many people were like, oh, I don't see any results like in my comments. And I'm like, you're getting results. Like you might not see them, but you have to be okay with the fact that you might not see results. And that doesn't mean they're not happening. Like a flat stomach doesn't make you like, oh, I've reached my goal. Like you've done the challenge just as much as everyone else has. And you could have gotten even stronger than those people. Like you have no idea. So I love your office poster. Could not stop looking at it. I also got a ton of comments about the office poster that was in the back of my video, which if you saw my room tour, that is from Etsy. So, oh, I also got a lot of comments on where my jacket was from that I was wearing in the video. It's from Princess Polly. I don't know if they're still selling it. I got it in December, so. I really liked this comment. A couple of people said stuff like this. Um, came just to skip around for the before and after results. Stayed the full time because you're cute, absolute queen. I really appreciate this comment because also some people commented like timestamps that were like, oh, she shows her results at this time, like skip through and then watch the results. And I think that's so dumb. Everything I said in that video was so important and I feel like if you're gonna watch it, you should watch the whole thing. Watch the dang video, it's there for a reason. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below or DM me. I respond to all my DMs and comments, so just let me know, I'll be there talk to you about it well I guess me please <gasps> why would you do that thank you for watching this video I feel like you give it a thumbs up what are you doing I hate ending videos because I'm always like did I forget to say something and then I'm always like Ugh. well then you can put in the me editing with the little hearts flying around my head sitting in my bed <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time Mwah.